Hi guys, what I've got here is my original Emacs Hawk 5. Great little craft, loved it. But what I've done, I've flashed this with the latest Beta Flight 4.2. And what I'm going to attempt to do with no edits, so you're going to see all my mistakes and everything that you shouldn't do, is to get this ready for flight. So this is a brand new firmware install of 4.2, and we're going to go through the whole setup process and give it a test flight. Okay, so you can see here, this is, I've just flashed the whole flight stack with beta flight 4.2. I've done a full chip arrays, so the whole thing's empty. And we're gonna go through how we set this up. Uh, you can follow it or do something similar. So stop the update. Connect to beta flight, this is the notice you get. So there are custom defaults for this board available. Let's just apply those. Reconnect. Warning, there's the following problems. Uh, there's a motor output protocol selected, or there's no motor protocol selected. Uh, caution, blah, 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 batteries connected. Changing AC, accelerometer. Okay, we'll just close that and we'll work through these problems as we come across them. I'll close that. First things first, 4.2, it makes you calibrate this accelerometer. So calibrate the accelerometer. That is calibrated and finished. And now should move. So yeah, there you go, it moves. So we've got that calibrated. Ports, the only port we've got set up is the communication port with the flight stack and beta flight. Configuration, we need to go through this and configurate it. And we also need to make sure that our motors are spinning the correct way. Uh, we need to put our receiver in. This has got a FR serial based. It is that one there. It is not a Spectrum, we go for S-Bus. Air mode will always leave on. Let's save and reboot that. Make sure that's connected. Close those. Check the configuration saved. I suppose it is there. Okay, brilliant. So they're all in place. Power and battery, we have no battery in at the moment. PIDs are so just the PIDs. We're going to leave stock PIDs. Rates, obviously we stick the preferred rates in, or your own preferred rates. Receiver, this is the receiver here. So I plug a battery in and see if that works right now. There, it's plugged in and nothing's working. So we need to set everything up. So I've taken the props off and we can be safe now. Always take your props off if you're doing work like this because it could go off and you could be in a right mess. So no props is the best way. Now we're going to go in and see why this receiver isn't working and I think I know the reason straight away. It will be the ports. One of these is to do with the receiver. And I, I'm not completely sure which one it is on here to be honest with you. For that reason, we're going to say it's that one there. And we're going to save and reboot. Connect. This message keeps on coming up. So back over, over to the receiver. I'll turn my radio on. Welcome to work the TX. Switch warning. And there you go. So there you have it. So you have to make sure that you, your ports are set up correctly. What I would have done if that one hadn't worked, I'd have just gone to the next one and the next one. So we know it's 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 one of these. So there, that's working. Configuration for your receiver is as I said or showed you initially, serial based receiver, which is that one right there, S bus, but you need to change the provider as well to S bus. 
So there we have we have the receiver, the radio talking, but we have when I move the throttle, it's actually moving roll, and when I move roll, it's moving pitch. When I move your yours in the right place, that's good, and throttle is actually pitch. So the way you correct these and this crazy channel here is actually my RSI. So what you have to do is alter these letters. These letters correspond with with these here, A-E-R-T, A-E-R-T, and you have these in the wrong order. So T-A-E. Roll, pitch, your throttle. So there, you have your radio communicating correctly. All your, all your, they're all moving in the correct position. Happy days. So the next thing, we need to do um, your modes even. Okay, so what you do need are your modes. You definitely need an arm. So add the range. And all you do is flick your switch that you actually want to use for your arm. So I want to use AUX2. And that's the position there that I want the arm to be on. So that's the position for the quad to be on itself. So make sure this bar, this highlight indicates in this bar, and then when I knock it off, because it moves over here, that switch is not activated and it's not armed. That position is armed, that position is not. Angle and horizon, these are two different flight modes. I don't normally use them, but I will add them for this example. So add a range, again, here's your highlight, but we haven't actually allocated a switch. So I will allocate a switch, and there I'll be using AUX1. So we'll say that position is angle. Add a range for horizon. <coughs> We're going to use the same switch, so AUX1, and that position in the middle is going to be horizon. So there, that's horizon, because it's off here, but it's on here. And move the switch again, it's on horizon, on angle even, sorry, but off horizon. So angle's on, so you're in angle mode on there, and if you move it completely off, because nothing is highlighted, you're an acro, so you've got no stability at all. I know this quad has a buzzer, so we will add a buzzer or beeper, and we'll use AUX3. So when it's switched on, it'll be over here because this is on. This is a spring switch. So there you go. That's on. And that's all we're going to set up on this quad. You can go on and on and on. You can add loads of different things, but these are the main ones to get you flying. Remember to press save, and that will save. So to test that these actually work, we can go over to motors. What we will need to do is switch a battery in there, I'm afraid. Let's switch a battery in, flick a battery in even. Fit a battery. <clears throat> and test the motors. So there's the motors. I understand you have to press this because Beta 5 is taking no responsibility. I'm warning you that it's not taking any responsibility. So I think we've got an ESC problem here. So I think we're actually going to have to redo the motors with BS Heli. Is it BS Heli? BL Heli? Whatever the program is, we're going to have to use it. So I'm going to download it, open it up. We're going to have a look at what's going on with these motors. And we're going to flash these motors again as well. Okay, so I've downloaded BL Heli. It's BL Heli, not BS Heli. 
and um, what we're going to have to do is connect to the quad. We're going to need a battery plugged in, else it doesn't actually read the AC board. So plug your battery in, connect your cable, and then connect via BL Heli. It warns you about taking your props off, so my props are off. Read setup. Please read the setup. Okay. I don't think anything's flashed at all. Hmm. Okay, let's disconnect that. Back to Peter Flight. Okay. Motor protocol, we need a motor protocol, don't we? We're gonna to go to D-Shot, D-Shot 6. Save and reboot. It sounds like that is all we had to do. At least you've got to know what BL Heli looks like. Let's go back to the motors. Let's see if they actually fire up. Press your I understand tab. Me, so that's all it was. So I didn't need the hassle of BL Heli. I just hadn't set up the motor feature. So ESC motor features, I selected D-Shot 600. You should really check what your motors are capable of, but I did know that they were capable of 600, uh, which is good. Arming, there's another arm thing here. You should change this to 180 because if you want to use turtle mode and you're upside down, if you don't change it to 180, it will not start up again. So we'll save and reboot that. So my quad is beeping away, so it's all sounding good. Let's connect again. I'm gonna see if my arm works. Turn my radio on. Okay, let's see where the modes are. Make sure we're in the correct positions. So that's arm, it's disabled. Let's unplug it and we'll see if it arms. It's beeping away. Plug it. There, we have an arm. Okay, so, so the setup works. We've got our receiver bound. We've got the motors working finally. The arm switch works. We're pretty much there. So let's unplug the battery. I need to keep that plugged in. Go back to beta flight. Connect up here. And let's see what else we need to do. Ports we've got working. Configuration. There's various things you can do here. You can look at personalization, you can put, put the craft's name. Hawk 5, which is what it is. RSI is something I would look at, but this is just the basics of beta flight at the moment. There's all these things switched on, which we probably really don't need. I mean, you probably don't need all these beat warnings. Let's just leave them on for now. So yeah, so that is the main part. So one thing we are actually gonna have to do is look at our motors. 
because our motors need to spin in a specific direction for us to be able to get lift. And if we don't get them in the right order or spin in the correct way, they're either going to thrust wonky, your quad's going to flip, or your quad is just going to fly into the ground and it's not going to move, it's just going to sit there. So there's handy little diagrams here which show you which way your motor should be spinning. So what I do is I plug in a battery, like so, and then I will acknowledge that this is right. I take my life into my own hand. Make sure that you select in the correct motor, so have it the correct way as the diagram. I just lightly pinch these motors you want motor one to spin clockwise. So motor one, give it a little bit of power. That is actually spinning clockwise. So motor three, you want it to spin anti-clockwise. And that is actually spinning anti-clockwise. So that's good. Motor two, you need that to spin anti-clockwise as well. Which it is, you can feel it spinning anti-clockwise. Motor four, if these all spin the correct way, I'll be very surprised. Okay, motor four is spinning the wrong way. No, motor four is spinning the correct way. They're all spinning perfectly fine. So that's all good. So if I was to take off with this quad, it would fly fine, no problems. But if you do have issues, what you need is that program BL Heli, this one here. This program will only read your ESC board if you've got a battery plugged in. So make sure you take your props off. Connect. Read the setup. And it will show you your ESCs. And if one of your motors is actually spinning the incorrect way, so say motor, motor two, you needed it to spin the other way. It's on normal and it's indicating motor direction. You basically just put it in reverse and press the flash and it will make it spin the opposite direction or spin the direction that you need it to and then you just repeat that process with whichever motor you need to change the direction from so follow the diagram in beta flight make sure they're spinning in those directions with a, with a light sort of grip on the motor you can tell which direction they're spinning if they're spinning incorrect make a note of which motor number it is read your schematic or you read your setup on BL Heli and then select which motor it is. So it's ESC1 is motor 1, ESC2, motor 2, ESC3, 4, etc. And then just reverse that motor. As simple as that. Very simple, guys. You'll get there. It took me a while to learn as well. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gives you an insight into what you need to do. If you'd like me to sort of do something else for you so you can see it or understand the setup a little bit better, why don't you let me know? And while you're there, please hit that subscribe. Thanks, guys. See ya.